Welcome to this Danfoss ICAT-B setup and configuration video about how to connect the UPS to the ICAT-B and then operate it using the ICAT-B display interface. Watch this ICAT-B video and get all the benefits of saving time and money with the easy and quick setup of the ICAT-B and having a safe valve and system operation with the ICAT-B intuitive navigation. Beside this video, we have multiple online ICAT-B videos and literature available to support you in doing a correct ICAT-B installation and support you in efficiently using the different ICAT-B user interfaces, which you see here. Therefore, scan the QR code shown here to access the online ICAT-B videos and literature and check out the ICAT-B support material, which meets your needs. In this ICAT-B video, we will show you how to connect the ICAT-B to the UPS. How to configure if the ICAT-B is connected or not to the UPS supply. How to configure the UPS settings in the ICAT-B. How to configure the emergency state in the ICAT-B. And finally, how to configure the emergency valve opening degree in the ICAT-B. So keep watching this video to learn more about these objectives and explore the full potential of using the ICAT-B display interface. Here you see an example of the Danfoss ICAT Uninterruptible Power Supply, or simply called UPS. This UPS is designed to be used as a fail-safe power supply for the ICAT-B mounted on ICM and ICMTS motor-operated valves. In the event of power failure, then there is a need to ensure that the ICM and ICM-TS valves enter a safe valve position. Therefore, once the ICAT-B is connected to the UPS, then during power failure, this fail-safe solution will give the following possible valve positions. The ICM and ICM-TS closes, the ICM and ICM-TS opens, the ICM and ICM-TS maintain current position, or the ICM and ICM-TS enters a specific valve opening degree. The actual valve position depends on how the UPS is configured in the ICAT-B. This we show later in this video. When the power supply is re-established, then the ICAT-B and the valve automatically return to normal operation as shown here in this example. Here you see the UPS with dimensions and space requirements specified. The UPS is designed for DIN rail mounting, as seen illustrated here, and should always be installed in an electrical panel. If needed, then you can remove the UPS from the DIN rail as illustrated here. You can find more information in the UPS installation guide. Here are see two options of how to electrically connect the ICAT-B to the UPS. This can be with separate 24 volt DC transformers for the ICAT-B and the UPS, or with one common 24 volt DC transformer for both the ICAT-B and the UPS. You should always electrically connect the ICAT-B and the UPS according to legal requirements and the given technical data. We will not go into details with the technical data since you can find more information in the UPS installation guide and the ICAT-B datasheet. Here is a demo setup with the electrical connection of the ICAT-B to the UPS. This setup is similar to the earlier shown wiring with one common 24 volt DC transformer for both the ICAT-B and the UPS. We use this demo setup in the video to demonstrate how to configure and operate the UPS in the ICAT-B. So keep watching this video to learn more about the UPS. Okay, you have now shortly seen the features and benefits of the Danfoss UPS, and you have seen demonstrated how to mechanically mount the UPS and how to electrically connect it to the ICAT-B. You have also been introduced to the ICAT-B and UPS demo setup which we use in this video to demonstrate configuration and operation of the UPS. This will efficiently support you in doing a fast and easy installation and save your time and cost. So let us look at how to configure the UPS supply in the ICAT-B. Please note that when the UPS is firstly powered on, then a LED light will flash indicating that the UPS is charging as seen here. Once the UPS is fully charged, then the LED light will be steady, as also seen here. The UPS is now ready for configuration and operation. Therefore, press Enter and scroll down to Service, then press Enter. Enter the service passcode, as explained more in details in another ICAT-B setup and configuration video. 
Scroll down to Advanced Control, then press Enter. Scroll down to UPS Supply, then press Enter. Say yes to the UPS Supply and then press Enter to confirm that the ICAT-B is now supported by the UPS in case of power failure. The ICAT-B is now ready for the next step in the UPS configuration. Therefore, first you press the exit key several times to return to the main screen. Before we continue the UPS configuration, then let us shortly demonstrate the UPS function and operation in case of a power failure. Therefore, disconnect the power supply to the ICAT-B. As seen, then the ICAT-B is now powered by the UPS, and the ICAT-B then enters alarm mode with flashing red status light and the ICAT-B display specifies that there is a low supply voltage to the ICAT-B. When the UPS is fully charged, it can now provide power to the ICAT-B as specified in the figure shown here. This is taken from the UPS installation guide. You can find more details in the UPS installation guide about how the UPS operates and supports the ICAT-B with power. Now reconnect the power supply to the ICAT-B. As seen, then the ICAT-B returns to normal operation mode, showing no active alarms. As also seen, then the UPS LED light flashes and the UPS starts to recharge until it is fully charged. OK, you have now seen how to identify when the UPS is fully charged and ready for configuration and operation. You have also seen demonstrated how to configure the UPS supply in the ICAT-B, and you have seen how the UPS works during power failure. This will efficiently support you in doing a correct UPS setup and ensure correct and safe system operation. So, let us now look at how to configure the UPS settings in the ICAT-B. Therefore, press Enter and scroll down to Service, then press Enter. Scroll down to Advanced Control, then press Enter. Scroll down to UPS Settings, then press Enter. The UPS settings define when the health indication of a UPS can be considered as good. As seen, then there are three health states, which are off, then there are no health detection, low, then the health state is good at a low input signal, high, then the health state is good at a high input signal. Therefore, select the needed UPS settings and press Enter. The ICAT-B is now ready for the next step in the UPS configuration. Therefore, first you press the exit key several times to return to the main screen. OK, you have now seen demonstrated how to configure the UPS settings in the ICAT-B so that you know when the health state of the UPS is good. This will efficiently support you in doing a correct UPS setup and ensure correct and safe system operation. So, let us now look at how to configure the UPS emergency state in the ICAT-B. Therefore, press Enter and scroll down to Service, then press Enter. Scroll down to Alarm Config, then press Enter. Scroll down to Emergency State and press Enter. As mentioned earlier in this video, and as seen here, then you can configure the ICAT-B to activate the following valve positions during power failure. The ICM and ICMTS closes, the ICM and ICMTS opens, the ICM and ICMTS maintain current position, or the ICM and ICMTS enters a specific valve opening degree. In this example, we select Open, which should ensure that the ICAT-B will fully open the valve during a power failure. Then press Enter. Now press Exit several times to return to the main screen. Then disconnect the power supply to the ICAT-B to see how the emergency state mode is working during a power failure. As seen here, and also seen earlier in this video, then the ICAT-B is now powered by the UPS, and the ICAT-B enters alarm mode with flashing red status light and the ICAT-B display specifies that there is low supply voltage to the ICAT-B. As also seen, now the ICAT-B has moved the valve to fully open position equal to 100% opening degree. Now reconnect the power supply to the ICAT-B. As seen, then the ICAT-B returns the valve to the previous opening degree, which was 0% equal to closed position, and the ICAT-B returns to normal operation mode, showing no active alarms. As also seen, then the UPS LED light flashes and the UPS starts to recharge until it is fully charged. OK, you have now seen demonstrated how to configure the UPS emergency state in the ICAT-B so that you know how to select the needed valve position during a power failure. This will efficiently support you in doing a correct UPS setup and ensure correct and safe system operation.
The iCAD-B is now ready for the next step in the UPS configuration. Please note that if you have configured the iCAD-B to activate the valve position emergency OD during a power failure, then you also need to configure this UPS emergency opening degree in the iCAD-B. So let us do this now. Therefore, press Enter and scroll down to Service, then press Enter. Scroll down to Alarm Config, then press Enter. Scroll down to Emergency OD, then press Enter. As seen, then the default emergency opening degree is set to 50% in the iCAD-B, which is equal to a half open valve. Now select the needed opening degree and then press Enter. In this example, we select 60% opening degree. Now press Exit several times to return to the main screen, then disconnect the power supply to the iCAD-B to see how the emergency OD mode is working during a power failure. As seen here, and also seen earlier in this video, then the iCAD-B is now powered by the UPS, and the iCAD-B enters alarm mode with flashing red status light, and the iCAD-B display specifies that there is a low supply voltage to the iCAD-B. As also seen, now the iCAD-B has moved the valve position to the configured 60% opening degree. Now reconnect the power supply to the iCAD-B. As seen, then the iCAD-B returns the valve to the previous opening degree, which was 0% equal to closed position, and the iCAD-B returns to normal operation mode, showing no active alarms. As also seen, then the UPS LED light flashes and the UPS starts to recharge until it is fully charged. Okay, you have now seen demonstrated how to configure the UPS emergency opening degree in the iCAD-B. This will efficiently support you in doing a correct UPS setup and ensure a correct and safe system operation. So, you have now completed this Danfoss iCAD-B setup and configuration video about how to operate the UPS with the iCAD-B. This means that you know how to connect the iCAD-B to the UPS, you know how to configure the UPS supply, you know how to configure the UPS settings, you know how to configure the UPS emergency state, and you know how to configure the UPS emergency opening degree. All this ensuring a correct and safe system operation. Please check out the other online iCAD-B setup and configuration videos. Have a look at the other online learnings about the Danfoss iCAD-B actuator for motor operator valves. Thanks for watching.